Elsewhere tonight, after looking at every dollar in the Youngstown City budget, the Tito Brown administration has cut the projected year end deficit from $2.3 million to a million dollars. But cutting the last million is going to be tough. At tonight's council meeting, no one talked specifically about layoffs, but everyone knew it was a possibility. New developments tonight on balancing Youngstown's budget. But when it comes to budget, there are some tough decisions we're going to have to make. Mayor Tito Brown set the tone of tonight's Youngstown City Council meeting right from the start, but then left it to his interim finance director, Kyle Myzik, to present the details. We have a budget deficit of a million fifty for 2018. Myzik got to the million dollar number by first cutting $931,000 by recommending to each department what their budget should be. He also recommended cutting 150,000 in police overtime, 125,000 in unfilled positions, and 40,000 in city council discretionary funds. He's also expecting income taxes from Valorec Star to increase. Valorec has been showing month over month increase in their withholding as a result of them expanding operations. That is a good sign. So, when are we going to see some of the numbers that take us all the way down to zero? Neither the finance director or mayor were ready tonight to say how the million dollar deficit that remains will be dealt with. They'll get back to council in two weeks. Because we're going to sit down and have those tough decisions. This is going to be that kind of that kitchen table conversation that you have with your wife and your family of what, what we can afford. Kyle Myzik says the solutions to the million dollar deficit have been discussed, but still need vetted through the department heads. And though the word layoff was never used, it was alluded to. Because we're talking about making <coughs> dramatic changes. Some of those changes could be through headcount, but some of them may be doing through operational changes. Now, the city may have trouble cutting from the police and fire departments. Federal money that's been accepted requires Youngstown to maintain certain staffing levels for both police and fire, and falling below those levels would mean the loss of the funding and possibly some fines.